Hello guys and welcome to Iron Scrub. Today we're going to be showing you how to prime and set up the Dextrose 50%. Well, it doesn't really matter what type of Dextrose you have, Dextrose 50%, 25% or even 10%. We work in the adult ICU, so that's why we have the single dose unit of the 50% available to us. And it's usually located in the medication room or the Pixis. On the back here you find that they do have directions but we're going to walk you through this so don't be intimidated at all because at first we were intimidated by this too but it's really quite easy just make sure to verify the doors with your doctor and um, checking to make sure that it is on the EMA and then reading the dosage correctly because the syringe is kind of flipped backwards so you'll see uh, shortly how the measurements are um, this particular vial is 25 grams for the 50% dextrose, so this whole vial is 25 grams. And so as you see here, I'm pulling this out, uh, it comes in two different bottles. So the first one is on the left side, that's the vial with the medication in it, that's a D50, and then the adapter itself. So you just simply pop off those two yellow uh, caps like that, and then you're gonna connect the male and the female parts like so, twisting it righty tighty like usual. And then the very top there has a large syringe needle and you're going to uncap that end and then you're going to push it slightly kind of like a regular syringe but of course it's a little bit thicker so you're going to prime it with a little bit more force but not an excessive force okay and over here i'm just showing you this because normally this is connected to a patient you have the end of this of course right inserted in the vein of the patient but i wanted to show you how how thick this solution really is. It is basically sugar water and um, you're gonna find a little bit of force and if initially you find too much force while um, let's say even priming it, so you wanna go ahead and disconnect it and then try it again. Of course you wanna make sure that everything is connected and working um, solidly before you even connect it to the patient. And then you're gonna push this slowly. Usually it's best in a large bore needle, like an 18 or 20 gauge, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Just make sure that you um, position it so that there's no air bubbles, of course. Um, right here, I don't have any air bubbles and it's not directly at a patient, so it's, I'm just trying to show you guys and demonstrate how difficult it may be to go ahead and inject this um, D50 solution and um, how viscous it is. So that's pretty much it. And um, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.